Today we're going on another adventure. We're currently in Kelly Park or Rock Springs Park. It's a really nice place. And we had to start this journey at 5.30 in the morning and made our way all the way here. It is currently 8.18 a.m. And there's two reasons why we're here. Number one is it's adventure. It's a cool place. It's a new place to play Pokemon Go. And the second reason is apparently it's a Torchic nest, which is great because Shadow Blaziken is one of the best fire types in all of Pokemon Go. In fact, it's only really beaten by some Megas and Shadow Moltres kind of ties with it. It's really dependent on what you're fighting with it. So obviously we want to get a whole bunch of excels and just have a great time and adventure around like this park has a lot of stops and apparently it has some very beautiful sights so i'm excited to go around here as you can see this park has quite a few stops on it there's even a gym here with the mega raid that's about to pop and the spawns aren't half bad either and again we really want to get a lot of excels for this torch check downside is the signal here is not the greatest luckily i am here with tommy and thurmond and tommy has a pretty decent connection here so i'm using his hotspot. so as you can see here the springs are super clear like this place is really neat basically it's a whole bunch of ground fed water that comes up and it comes out all filtered and very clear. We have quite a few of these in Florida, but this area apparently has a lot more of the clear water than usual. Like there's a place I went up a little while ago. It was called Blue Spring State Park where all the manatees were. A lot of clear water there, but then once it hits the river, it immediately gets the tannins and it just completely like murks up. Also on a side note, we did just beat the Mega Sableye raid. So we're going to do probably the only raid here for probably a while, but maybe we'll get lucky and get ourselves something shiny out of it. How about you guys? Any shiny Sableyes over there? That's a lot of no's, but that's fine because I'm not going to get it either. Ready? One, two, three, and yeah, I was right. And this one is an 818, not the greatest. So we've done one whole lap around the river. It was a pretty good time. And I think that the speeds are good enough to do the daily incense. So I'm thinking we're gonna go back in, we're gonna pop it and see what happens. It'd be hilarious if we got a Galarian bird while doing absolutely nothing. Now we're in the river. We got Tommy steering in the back there and I've got the ghost in the front. So this is gonna be an interesting time. Let's pop the daily and see what happens. I mean, we've got a decent current right here. So we should be able to get some stuff. There's a little part in the middle where we probably will have to get out for a second, but yeah. Number one is a Swablu though. Not quite what we're looking for, but not shiny either. Our steering is not going super well anymore, but our second spawn on the rapid part is an Electric that isn't shiny. <laughs> you okay back there, Tommy? Yeah. yeah you're doing good? Catching up. <laughs> Next up, we've got a Galarian Slowpoke right here. Hopefully I'll be able to click on the thing, but it's not really working right now. Let's try harder. Come on. There we go. We got it. It's not shiny. This case is not exactly the best for this, but we're trying. Had a little bit of technical difficulties, but next up we've got ourselves a doof here that isn't shiny. That would have been amazing. And then next up we've got ourselves a nice little Roselia. Not shiny either. Dang it. And for some reason we're doing a feet pick, so that's <laughs> exciting too. How wonderful. Next up we've got another Swablu that's not a Swa Yellow, unfortunately. So yeah, Parasect. That's, that's totally what we wanted to see right here. I've also missed a couple spawns because this case is not easy to do screen recordings with. There was also a Cacnea. It wasn't shiny or anything like that. This is definitely gonna be our final spawn right here because of the speed, but we got a Young Goose that isn't shiny. That's fine, there's a spotlight hour for that. How exciting. So unfortunately, the Daily Incense didn't really give us anything and to make things worse, I didn't notice this, but my 12 kilometer eggs hatched and I must've hit the thing without even seeing it. And I only just noticed that they hatched because it was asking me if I wanted to evolve a scraggy but anyways let's take a look at these things iv see if there's anything good here this guy is not so great let's just see here if there's anything that's like overly solid but i'm not seeing anything and these landits are both males and yeah nothing but we did find this extra extra large galvantula which is nice We're now done with the springs. It was a great time, but along the way home, looks like we got ourselves a huge shiny pine cone, but not just me. Tommy got it too. Huge congrats, Tommy. Like, Interesting. That's awesome. According to the ghost, it is the worst thing ever. Yeah, I'm not gonna show those IVs. <laughs> we'll show those IVs later. We don't need to We don't need to poison it already, but that is a really cool thing to run into because I like seeing huge shinies. This is a boosted shiny. I mean, it is a one in 64 odd chance of becoming shiny, so and not exactly the rarest, but having an XXL of it is pretty cool. So 
let's take a look at these terrible IVs after we look at this big, big old pineco. It is a, I want to say eight, seven, three. Yeah, definitely something. But hey, we've got something kind of fun there. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Now it's time for eight hour for Heatran. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but we could get a good one. It has its signature move of Magma Plume, I believe it's what it's called, or maybe it's Magma Storm. I don't quite remember, but it is a pretty decent Pokemon. So I'm going to join the Crane's Roost community down there. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky with a really good one. Hopefully a shiny. That would be pretty nice. But in the end of the day, we're just going to have some fun. Just like that, the first raid is down. Let's take a look at these IVs. It is a 2112. We want a 2145, so that's not great. But hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves an XL Rare Candy. That's the best part about doing these things in person but we did not. All right. Sparky, what'd you get over there? He got the rare XL. He got the rare XL. Okay, so he got it instead. Very good. But will we at least get a shiny as well? Because that would be pretty cool. It's not shiny. Wait, who got the shiny? You got the shiny? Congratulations. What do we got here? It's a 2080. All right, well, still cool. Number two is going to be, I think, 2090. I don't think I saw anything too good there. But let's go through, and we got ourselves an XL rare candy. There we go. Very happy. So not only did we get the XL, but we also got a shiny. No, we didn't. Okay, and it is a 2099. Not very good at all. But an XL rare candy. The next one is down, number three, but hopefully this one will at least be a decent one. 2105, not good at all. But you know what? We got Yanni here, so tell you what, do you think we're going to get an XL rare candy at the very I least? I, you didn't, no, neither I did I. Shiny last I one. Oh, you did? Okay, so he got the shiny in the last one. Here, we'll do it together three, here. Three, two, two one, and boom, he didn't uh, get it, and neither did I. 2119 is not bad. And another shiny. Hey. Congratulations, hey. but not just him. Ah, oh, there it is. Is this one better? Yes, yeah. it is. This one right here is a 20 88. Fantastic. Let's check these items. Hopefully a rare XL. We did not get one of those. It looks like we're doing a big group check for this one. Three, two, one, and we know. The next one is down. Let's take a look at this thing first before we do another group check. It's going to be a 2119. Okay. Let's see what we got here in terms of items. Everything is all right. No XL rare candy. Three, two, one, go. And not for me. Anybody? Nobody? Nobody? No, this thing hates me. Yet another one brought down. Let's see the CP of this thing. It is a 2072. Okay, that's just great. Item wise, we get ourselves no rare XLs. Fantastic. Three, two, one, and not Mega. for me, anybody. No. Hey, oh. Tommy. There you go. <laughs> he can stop complaining now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. This is the second to last one, 2082. That is not good at all, but that's fine because we're going to get a rare XL candy to make up for it. Here it is. Nope. Yep. We didn't get one. Looks like it's just me and Sparrow. Oh, no. There we go. We got a third in here. One, two, three, and not for any of us. All right. The last one's down here. It is going to be a 2115. No hundo today. That's perfectly fine. And as for the items, I uh, kind of skipped a little bit there because there was some copyrighted music, but I don't think I got a rare XL. That's fine. Two. Three, two, one, and not shiny for me. Anybody else here? No. no. All Why right. Does hate me? Any shinies at all? You got one. Oh, okay. all right, well, look at you. Well, Raid Hour was fun, though unfortunately we didn't have a lot of luck, but it is Heatran, not exactly the most exciting, in my personal opinion. And we did get one XL Rare Candy out of eight raids, which is pretty good. I think it's believed that right now it's about a 1 in 10 chance for you to get the XL Rare Candy, so all things considered, we did go on par. And we definitely had a fun adventure today. It was fun actually getting to play the game on the springs and stuff like that. It was very refreshing, very new. You know, I'm always grinding in, like, the downtown area. I don't get to really hang out in places like that too often, so it was definitely worth it. And plus, I would say that this Pinko right here is now one of my rarest Pokemon, mostly due to the fact that it is an XXL. If you look right here, I only have three XXL shinies. One's from Calm Day, one's also a boosted shiny, and the Pineco is also a boosted shiny, so I've never gotten a full odds XXL shiny Pokemon. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been able to get one of those yourselves, though. And also let me know what it is. But I'm thinking let's evolve this Pineco all the way into a shiny fortress, because I do believe this is my biggest one period out of all of them that I've ever found, so it's kind of fun that the shiny will also hold the record, and I think it is a fantastic shiny, personally. I really do like the shiny a lot. Some people are off and on about it, but I think that that's just a very solid shiny. Especially in the main series game Scarlet and Violet, I love the metallic like coat they gave it. I would love to see that in Pokemon Go. But there we go, we have our absolutely massive fortress, and then if we boost out of this thing real quick, we also have ourselves the gigantic Obstagoon, and of course we have ourselves a Noivern. Smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video, and if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest this video right over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.